I want to ask you about that because I knew you were, you know, representing yourself. And kind of like Lamar Jackson, where he was like, no, I don't need no agent. And we didn't know what was going to happen with the Ravens. I know I was kind of like, is Lamar going to leave Baltimore? Yeah. Because he represented. Is 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 that the new wave? Because you just, Lamar did it and got paid. You just did it. But I personally, I don't think a lot of athletes should represent themselves. They should be in that plat. They, yeah. I'm just saying, I don't think they're smart enough to do it. You smart enough to do it. I don't think a lot of motherfuckers smart enough to do it. I, I definitely wasn't smart enough to do it before this, for sure. Like, I had to learn this business, and I had to understand uh, the business. I also wasn't in a position to, mm -hmm. right? Like, you can only negotiate from a platform as high as you built it, Yeah. right? Yeah. Like, Stephen A., like how you always say, put your meat on the table. Yeah. Stephen A. could walk in and put his meat on the table right now because he's Stephen A., yeah. Right? Like Shannon Sharp sort of did the same thing last offseason. Pat McAfee, right? Pat McAfee do what the hell he wants. Like, I'm going to be honest, I respect him. Pat McAfee chose, I'm going to give up football, and I'm going to start this thing with my homeboys, and I'm going to bet on me. And in betting on me, I got one deal. And then in betting on me, I understood that the platform is, I went there. And now with that platform, knowing who you work with and work for, if I want to call out an executive, I'm going to call him out. Oh, and next week, I'm going to take pictures with another one because I ain't got no boss. Like, he said it. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I want to get. Well, I ain't got no boss. Like, I want that feeling that, that Steve and they have every time I walk into work that this particular entity stands because of me. And what I love the most about negotiations was knowing that people didn't want to talk to me was knowing that people didn't want to talk to David Muller Getter, right? Because it was a, we were standing on me. Like David in negotiating my money, he ain't got nobody else that's doing TV. He ain't got to be your friend. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't sign up for this business to have friends, right? Ain't nobody going to advocate for me like I'm going to advocate for me. And you know what else? I keep score, right? Like, that's what, that's what I hate, that's what I miss about football, is we don't have a scoreboard. Like, if I'm on a show, like if I do first take on Friday, get up on Monday, whatever it is, I'm counting how many social pieces you put out, ESPN, my employer, puts out for everybody else that's on TV with me. So I can tell you, hey, go look at Mondays when I'm on get up at first take. Go look at Fridays when I'm on get up at first take. It's not Shannon, it's not Stephen A, it's not Dan, and no disrespect to anybody, it's me, you're posting me. Yeah. You're your people making that decision because that's what I do. Check the numbers when I do it, right? Check the numbers when I host a get up. Like, check all that, like, I show up. And so you're telling me, like, not to compare myself to other people, but no, if, if you treat him like that, treat me like I'm supposed to be treated. No. And so I think, like, that was always my thing, bro, and, like, that was the thing I was going to stand on. And here's what I, what I wanted with a deal, Chan. And Freddie T, the business changed me. Like, I, like you say, Freddie T, I always worked, like I always had grit, right? Like, I was a dunker. You know what I'm saying? Like, every time I went on a show, I was like, I want to kill you, I want to kill you, I want to kill you. And you remember when, like, they was getting on Kobe after all this stuff, and he turned into the mama, and he started walking around with that underbite every time, <laughs> right? Like, that was how I looked at every single show, yeah. right? And I was like, man, I would love to be able to shoot turnaround jumpers and smile and laugh and be happy going down the court. Like, I would love to not have to feel like I got to be Mike or I got to be Kobe and everybody's an enemy and everybody's an op. Like, I would love to, like, dunk the ball and go cheese and hug like LeBron and ride fucking banana boats. Like, that's what I wanted to get to, right? I also wanted to get to a place to where, like, man, you know what? Today, it's all right for me to facilitate because I don't have to score 60. Because I felt like if I didn't score 60, I wasn't going to get my money. I wasn't going to stand on what I had to stand on. And the bottom line is, too, bro, I wanted to make myself important enough where they couldn't take this from me. Mm -hmm. Right? Well, I could say, no, I'm going to still do the pivot because we're changing the culture. And we're creating a place for athletes to tell their own story, to control their own narrative. Like, we have changed things culturally like when people walk up to us man nothing makes me feel better when they can point to specific episodes that change their life in some way yeah. and you want me to give that up to be in that ownership to be an employee no 
And I'm going to be good enough to where you realize you can't stop me and you still want me. And like that happened.